Yo, what up, YouTube people? What's come here? Another video. This one featuring Bob, the green spot puff fish. I just fed him. He's nice and fat and happy. What's up, man? Just chilling, having a good time today, aren't we? Got uh, the Del. Oh my God! I almost just butchered that. The uh, Dalmatian self in Molly's here, guys. And now the reason I'm doing this video is because someone left a comment and said. I don't know how those fish are in there with Bob if he's not freshwater fish. Well, these self and Dalmatian mollies or marble mollies, whichever you come from, are a lot like Bob in the fact that they can withstand a grip of different water or uh, salt water levels. So they can go from anywhere from freshwater, and they can do just fine, grow big, to brackish water, they'll do just fine, all the way up to full marine. And I'll get into that a little bit later. And, uh, I got two different, uh, damn, there's a lot of pause in this video. Anyways, a lot of, diff uh, two, let's see, I want to say two different generations of, uh, self and mollies in there. That's why you get, I have this one big black one, or shit, <laughs> big white one, she got a nice fat belly. There's a smaller white one, and that big black dude down there, and another little black guy. Another two little white ones and stuff like that. But uh, if you slowly acclimate them, they can go, they can adjust to any kind of salt water level you got. So these guys are just slowly being acclimated as Bob is being acclimated as he gets older. And I'll get into that in a little bit. There's Bob mobbing around. Now if you guys ask me questions or leave comments, or I can only give you, there's tons of information out on the internet, like anyone can find it. But there's a lot of crazy people out there and just nonsense information. So if you ask me a question or leave a comment or something, I can only, I'm can i going to give you guys my experiences, my results, and what I'm doing with my tank. So it might not be the same for everyone or work for everyone. As you can tell, and like I said before in some of my videos, I wing a lot of stuff. And it turns to work out pretty good for me. So look at Bob. You tell me, is his salinity good or not? He looks just happy to me. I love when he looks at you with eyeballs. Crazy looking man. Alright, so let's get into it. This is a uh, hydrometer here, guys. If you guys are going to have any kind of salt water or any kind of brackish water fish, anything like that, you're definitely going to get one of these. This one's a Coral Life. It's about 10 bucks. I was going to see if I put this back here. Now you can't even really see the numbers. We'll get into the numbers a little bit later. But uh, these bad boys, they got... Damn, this camera's ridiculous. But on this side is your specific gravity and your salinity and PPTs, which is parts per thousand. So, they're basically the same thing. One's a different measurement, did a little bit better, more commonly used, I guess you would say. Your, uh, let's get Bob there. Look at you, man. You're so fat and big. You're distracting me. I get out of here, Bob. That's enough of that. For, uh, specific gravity is your, uh, weight of water. Or is the weight of salt versus your volume of water. And then for salinity is the weight of salt versus the weight of water. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna go off salinity here. So this could be the, the total amount of all the salt devolved the dissolved in your tank is where you're gonna get that from. And that's on the that side, that's where it's just got the regular numbers. But if you guys have uh puffer fishing and stuff, most of the time they'll give you the numbers that are like one point Zero this, 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 and that, or zero point this, this, and that. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys mine. See what my smell is. Well, you can just dip it in there if you want. Do what you want. I have a random turkey baster. I use it in the fish tanks for other stuff. So, that's what I use. Just drip it on in there. And you'll slowly see that, uh, swing arm go up there. Now, when we're doing this, you definitely want to tap the hydrometer to get any kind of bubbles out of there that are on that little swing arm doodad because that will greatly affect the uh, measurements. Another thing I don't really know how it works or how it does it but also the water temperature will affect your salinity so like the higher the temperature the higher salinity your water is going to be. I don't know how that works. I'm not building out a science guy. I'm sure you can find it out if you really wanted to. Chip a little bit more in there. Okay we're good. Sorry. Move this back here. Yeah, that's not helping none. But, uh, for your specific gravity, 
it's going to start down at the bottom. I'm going to this right here. That's not going to help you guys out any. But it's going to start way down here. So you can see, if you were to do your tap water, that swing arm would be way down here. Mine is at, for my salinity, is going to be 22. Specific gravity is going to be 1.016, which is dead on for uh, juvenile green spotted puffer fish. So 17, 15, 16, those all should be good. Now as you get older and you get into full marine, you want to go all the way up here. See, it's got these darker edge in this one. And that's going to start at 1.021, and that goes all the way up to 1.026. So eventually Bob will be up here somewhere as he gets older, and he becomes full marine. So as for now, he's just brackish water, so he's at that right there, 1.18. And then so that's how the mollies are in there. Like I said, they acclimate to all kinds of different kind of salt levels. So I could have like, uh, let's say, 1.00, like I do in a 55-gallon tank. And I've got some mollies in there, and they're beasts, and they're doing their own thing. They're doing just fine. And these guys are in here with brackish water, with Bob, slowly building up their tolerance like he is. And eventually they will be full marine like Bob's. It's going to hopefully be. Hopefully it'll mix that long, and I'm sure he will. As long as uh, nothing bad happens. So I don't know if I'll keep those mollies in there. I'm, I might take out after I decide, after they get old enough to I can uh, sex them. Probably keep one female and one male. Maybe two females, one male. I don't know yet. Depends on how big Bob gets and if he'll let any of those dudes mob around in there. But that's it, guys. I hope that answers any questions about how uh, Dalmatian self and Molly's are in there with Bob because like I said they can survive any kind of salinity you throw at them pretty hardy fish uh, here's the hydrometer I did a quick little segment on that and how it works and what it is there's mine ah, see it a little bit better right there it's right in the middle of 18 and 16 so bam 17 on the spot And that's it. Bob likes it. He's happy. Obviously, I'm doing something right. So, like I said before, guys, uh, leave messages, comment, subscribe, do what you want. Like I said before, if you guys, uh, this whole video is based off the fact that some kid left comments saying, hey, how are those fish in there with Bob if he's not freshwater and those are freshwater fish? Well, mollies are not freshwater fish. They, uh, just like Bob, they go all over the place. So, freshwater to brackish to full marine. And then th that is why my mollies are in there with Bob. That's my temperature. The temperature is about a little under 80 degrees, so we're good to go in there. Like I said, I don't really know how uh, the temperature of your tank uh, affects your salinity. All I know is the higher your water temperature, the higher salinity is going to be. I don't know why. You guys can uh, build my science guy that on your own time. But as for now, quick video. Show you guys. It's almost 10 minutes, so I know it's not that quick, but... uh. There's a hydrometer, how to use it, 10 bucks. Any local pet shop, there you go. They got nice ones that actually sit inside your tank, that suction cup, so you don't have to ever take it out or get wet like I'm doing right now. But there you go. Question, comment, rate. Do what you guys like. Me and Bob are out. We're going to do some more videos today. So uh, take it easy. You guys have a good one. Peace.